In a heartfelt gathering at the Douglas County Courthouse, community leaders and citizens came together to mark Patriot Day, honoring the lives lost on September 11, 2001, and recognizing the unwavering spirit of our first responders. And grace my fears relieve. We honor you. We honor your bravery, your fortitude, and your tenacity. We honor your commitment to service and to this community. Let us reflect on the lessons learned from September 11th. Let us remember the importance of empathy, understanding, and tolerance. I remember distinctly just how united we were after that. People opening their doors to one another and creating a sense of unity that we terribly need that kind of unity today. We honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice and we pledge to continue their legacy by serving with dedication, compassion, and commitment. I just want to take a moment to tell all of our first responders, thank you. Thank you for having the heart to serve our county. To watch the entire Patriot Day ceremony, visit our Douglas County YouTube channel. The Community Orchard at Woodrow Wilson Park in Lithia Springs received some needed TLC as volunteers from Strack Incorporated rolled up their sleeves to provide maintenance on the young fruit trees at the park. Feels good, man. Actually, get out here and help out with the community. The trees were planted in March by Douglas County employee volunteers in partnership with Food Well Alliance. The purpose of the orchard is to provide the public with direct access to local nutritious food and to improve the park's landscape. It helps with drainage, carbon sequestration, everything that you get the advantage of any tree, you get from a fruit tree, but you also get the added bonus of having food to eat and they produce for a long time. So some of these apple trees will probably start making apples in two years and they'll keep going for 25 more years. It's always good to give back to your community. This is relaxing break away from the office every now and then, yeah. uh, from the field. Doing it for a good cause. Yeah. We are grateful to have them. You know, Abraham Lincoln said, when I do good, I feel good. And uh, this is a good opportunity. At the end of the day, they're going to feel like they gave something to this neighborhood, this community. I think they can feel good and they should feel good about it. Kicking off her first ever district dialogue, District 2 Commissioner Whitney Kenner Jones sat down with Fire Chief Dr. Miles Allen for an engaging discussion on the state of public safety in Douglas County. People tend to take us for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, something happens, we call 911, somebody is going to come there. Yeah. And that is going to be my mantra. Every, we, we are going to respond, regardless of rain, sleet, snow, gloom of night, we will be there. Visit our Douglas County YouTube channel to catch the full discussion. And mark your calendars for District 3 Commissioner Martin Raxton's first town hall meeting. That's Wednesday, October 2nd at 6 p.m. at Chapel Hill Middle School. Thanks for watching Inside Douglas County. Make sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date.